Welcome to the Perak of the Week. This week we are reflecting on Pirkei Avot, Chapter 1, the 12th teaching, which reads, Hillel and Shammai received the tradition from them. Hillel said, Be like the students of Aaron, loving peace and pursuing peace, loving people and bringing them closer to the Torah. There are four parts to this teaching. Hillel is one of the most recognizable names in our tradition. He was active during the turn of the millennium from BCE, before the Common Era, to CE, the Common Era. His first statement is that we should love peace. Peace in Hebrew is shalom, from the root shalem, to be whole. When we greet each other, we say, Shalom Aleichem, peace be unto you. It is such a fundamental value. When we greet each other on Shabbat, we wish each other a Shabbat Shalom, a peaceful Shabbat. Our sages teach us better a bad peace than a good war. That's how important peace is. Pursuing peace. Aaron had an interesting technique for bringing about peace. I'm not sure I recommend it at home. He would go to two parties who were aggrieved with each other and tell each one individually that the other one wanted to mend the relationship. Then when the two came together, they would each think that the other one had offered an olive branch and they would be reconciled. Hillel does remind us that we shouldn't just wait for peace. He tells us to pursue peace, that we should actively work for it. Peace in our relationships is the goal of this time of the month of Elul as we are preparing for the high holidays. If we want peace, we must be willing to apologize and accept responsibility for the hurt that we have caused. The teaching continues that we should love people. In Hebrew, the word is actually briot, which could be translated as love the creatures if it didn't follow up with bringing them closer to Torah. But it does remind us of the importance of our relationship with all of creation of our relationship with the environment and the compassion for animals, which is a fundamental value in our tradition. Loving people is not just a feeling. It requires us to take action. Loving people is not always so easy. We are not always so lovable. The Talmud tells us that the Second Temple was ultimately destroyed because of sinat chinam, gratuitous hatred. Rav Kook, the chief rabbi of Israel, taught us that he would rather be guilty of ahavat chinam, gratuitous love. Finally, Hillel instructs us to bring others closer to Torah. How might we do that? I think one important way is by our example, how we live by following the example of the teachings in Pirkei Avot, giving people the benefit of the doubt, acting with compassion and kindness and patience, apologizing when necessary, and learning to hold our tongues. As we contemplate this teaching this week, we might ask ourselves, what can we do to be forces for peace in our family, in our community, and what do we need to feel peace within ourselves? Shavuotov.